In this section, I want to talk about filtering BGP routes, and I want to uh, use different approaches to do this. First of all, I will need to use a distribute list. Next, I will go for a prefix list, and after that, I will check how you can do this using a route map. So I want to do this on router 2, for example. Let me check the IP BGP table and see what we have here. In BGP table, you can see that I have a route that's a summary route that I have received from router 1. I want to remove this. So to do this, I will go using a distribute list first. I go to configuration mode, go to router BGP25, and here, I assign a distribute list to this neighbor, 10, 0, 12, 1. And the distribute list can, uh, can have different types of access list. I'm going to use a simple access list, for example, access list number 25. And you can see that this is inbound or outbound. Because I'm receiving this route, I want to use inbound to remove it. So I assign in here. Now that I have assigned this distribute list, I need to create the access list. So access list 25 is going to deny 1100000, for example, 255.255. And it is permitting any other routes that I will receive from router 1. So I have a permit any at the end of this access list. Now let me check the access list. First, you can see this is the access list that I have created by clearing IPBGP table softly and waiting a little more, uh, waiting a little and checking the IPBGP table again. You can see that I don't have this route any longer. So let me go to router BGP process and remove the line of command that I have added previously and clear the IP BGP table to invoke it to receive the routes again and the route is in my BGP table now I'm going to the second approach neighbor 10 0 12 1 this time I'm assigning a prefix list here, and I want to name this prefix no summary, for example, from R1. And again, this prefix list can be inbound and outbound. I want it to be inbound. Now I create the IP prefix list here, and the name is no summary from R1. That is denying one one zero zero slash twenty and this is the exact route that I'm going to deny and I want to I don't want to add any longer parameter and again I need to permit any other thing that is received so I permit zero 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 slash zero L E thirty two and hit enter. And now because I have added the line of command on the router process I need to clear IP BGP anything softly and check IP BGP after a refresh of my table to show IP BGP of course and you can see it again I have filtered that route out now again back to router BGP 25 removing this line of command the third approach is to use a route map. Let me create the route map first. Route map no, for example, one one route. This is the name that I just have this, and I'm going to deny a route here. Deny ten, and the route is going to be matched using access list, and the access list name is going to be no one one route again and I'm going to permit any other route so I permit hundred and nothing else so I create the IP access list and that's gonna be an standard access list 
and its name is no one one route that is matching one one zero 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 two fifty five two fifty five and nothing else exit now I need to go to router BGP twenty five and assign this night route map to neighbor ten zero twelve one. The route map is no one one route. And again I need to assign it inbound or outbound because I'm receiving the route, so I'm going to filter it inbound. So I hit enter and again clearing IP BGP table and again checking IP BGP do show IP BGP and you can see these three different approaches to remove a route from my routing table or from my BGP table and you know that anything that is removed from BGP table cannot be installed in my routing table again